We are now officially 72 hours away from the release of Chapter 4 Season 4, and today we're going to be covering all of the teasers, points of interest, new weapons, abilities, and everything you need to know that has been fully revealed within the new season update. We even have a first look at a bunch of new bosses, NPCs, battle pass skins, and a Season 4 trailer that we're going to be looking at later in the video as well. And of course, we need to go ahead and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber, but we are pretty low on V-Bucks, so we do need to top off real quick. If you guys want to receive a gift, in a future video all you have to do is drop a like make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down below so i can add you and send you the gift and a big shout out to everyone using code nerf2 in the fortnite item shop you guys are absolute legends and the support really helps me out so thank you so much so as we near the chapter 4 season 4 update with only a few days left epic has been releasing a ton of brand new teaser images every single morning and today we're going to be going over all of the brand new ones starting out with the points of interest that are going to be coming on the season four map and then later we will be looking at a bunch of the upcoming battle pass skins because people have found out what they are so i'll throw a few of these images up on the screen to showcase the brand new point of interest that is actually going to be coming on the season four map and as you guys can see it is a basically like a modern mansion or uh, almost like a compound whoa 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 that guy kind of scared me. And the common theme for this compound here is that there is a bunch of crescent moons. And this is basically Fortnite's way of hinting at the fact that the villain that we are going to be stealing from and operating the heist on is directly correlated to this crescent moon design. And based off previous teasers, we do know that we are going to be operating a heist on a known and very wealthy collector that goes by the name of Kato. So this mega mansion that we are going to be stealing from actually belongs to him. And this gives us a bunch of different angles, some of them showcasing that there is actually going to be a beach. And it also gives you a pretty good idea of how large this is going to be. And the cool part is people actually put this into AI software and it colorized these images for us. So it gives you a more realistic idea of what this point of interest is actually going to look like besides just looking at it through the teasers which are all red and black so i thought that was really cool man it's pretty crazy that we have technology these days that allows us to even do that in the first place but this poi is going to be absolutely awesome one of these images also confirms that vaults will be making a return and obviously with the entire season being based around heist it was a uh, pretty obvious that vaults were going to be making a return in the first place and in case it wasn't obvious enough from the teaser images that Epic has been releasing, yes, it was confirmed by the CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, who when asked how to describe Season 4 with one word, literally replied with height. So it is confirmed that that is going to be the overall theme for Chapter 4 Season 4 as well, which is very exciting because that means they are most likely going to be mirroring the Chapter 2 Season 2 theme, which uh, was a very, very big fan favorite back in the day. Oh my god, my aim was so bad right there. Ew. Now, people have been speculating where this new point of interest is actually going to be on the map, and since the Citadel was so important in the early days of Chapter 4, a lot of people are speculating that this brand new Mega Mansion POI that we're going to be uh, raiding is actually going to be taking the place of the Citadel, which makes a lot of sense because people have actually overlaid the images on the Citadel itself, and the overall layout of it actually fits almost identical. Oh, this guy tried to sneak up on me. What are you doing? Haha, <laughs> let's go. This guy really was trying to be sneaky. Not today, my friend. Not today. But now that we got the brand new POI and overall theme out of the way, we could check out some of these brand new teasers that confirm some of the new weapons and abilities coming that we've never seen before, and also three out of the upcoming seven battle pass skins. So first things first, we can look at some of the brand new items and abilities, and I'll throw those images up on the screen as we talk about them, but the four brand new ones confirmed off the teasers alone is the Rocket Ram, which you guys can see here is going to be a new weapon that uh, probably is going to allow you to cause mass destruction to buildings and builds. It's probably going to be a lot more useful in building mode of Fortnite itself, uh, rather than zero build, which I usually play. But of course, this fits the heist theme, since this is literally what robbers or cops would use to break down locked doors. So I'm excited to see how that's actually going to be used in game to see how much damage it will cause to players we're also getting a business turret which you guys can see here is actually a turret that you can deploy out of a briefcase which i thought was really really cool and unique it's literally straight out of a spy movie which uh, seems to be the direction that epic is taking with season four so i'm excited for that as well now the third weapon confirmed with the teasers was one that we actually previously knew just from leakers and that is the drum gun actually making its return into the game which i know people are 
we're really excited about. We don't know if this is going to be a mythic weapon or just a regular loot pool weapon, but regardless, we have not seen this thing in the game for a very long time, so I know people are going to be pretty excited about that. And for the fourth and final one here, we don't have a lot of information on it because it literally just got leaked about five minutes before I started recording this video at 9 a.m. But as you guys can see here, it appears to be a, a duffel bag of some sort, and like I said, we don't have a lot of information on it just yet. We don't know what the item's called or what it's going to do, but my guess is maybe it'll allow us to carry extra loot other than the five inventory spots we have now, since there probably is going to be a lot of different uh, weapons, abilities, and things in the new season. I see you down there. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I need to get to zone. Took a good bit of damage there. Let's heal up. Oh, my man just got beamed right off of the zip line. Let's go. Final new piece of info before we show you guys the new season four trailer concept that I thought was really, really awesome here is the upcoming skins that were featured in some of these teasers as well. The first one released to us yesterday morning was actually this image right here showcasing the silhouette of a new female skin with the crescent blood moon in the background. And of course, all of the lasers giving away the fact that it's gonna be a heist theme season. And after doing a little bit of research, people speculated that this survey skin right here on the right is actually what this skin is going to be. So if that does come true, I think that will be a pretty cool battle pass skin. I think it's a really unique look. The second skin here that was actually released yesterday as well is also a new buff version of the fish stick skin, but it's obviously going to be an entire new skin. You guys can see here he is wearing a stringer shirt that uh, gives away the fact that he's buff and works out a lot. It actually says the word sweaty on the front, so I think it is going to just be one of the typical uh, troll funny type skins that does fit into the overall storyline. And obviously we could see a decent silhouette of this giving away the shape and overall design of what it's gonna look like as well. And for the third and final skin that we have been teased and at least revealed to us so far, they're probably gonna be giving us more info over these next few days. It is actually this skin right here that is known as the Diamond Dealer. Now, the leakers did say that it is not confirmed if this guy is either gonna be in the battle pass or if he's just gonna be on the season and four map as an NPC and boss that we can take out and get mythic weapons from but his teaser does look a little bit different than the other ones that are going to be featured in the battle pass so my guess is that he's probably just going to be a NPC or boss especially since he has that wild card design to him with that type of mask and obviously wearing a suit he looks very similar to those characters that we saw back in chapter two that were bosses as well oh I'm sorry no, I did not mean to fight Dr. Sloan right now, but, uh, okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. But with all the new info out of the way, I will let the Season 4 trailer roll out for you guys just so you can get a good basic idea of what to expect in the upcoming season with a cool little concept trailer that I wanted to share.
reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Here we go. Give it a honey, never left a list. There we go. Aim was a little bit shaky right there, I'm not gonna lie. This guy just headshotted me while I was moving. That's actually pretty impressive. Honestly, GG. Got a lot of rewards too. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let me know down below what you guys think about season four so far based off the battle pass, new points of interest, and new weapons coming out into the game. I'd love to know your guys' feedback. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.